So if you follow me on any of my social media platforms like Discord or Facebook, you'll have probably heard a lot of chatter around the new WordPress theme that I've released called Popcorn Theme. In conjunction with two other gentlemen, bloggers and developers, Phil and Alex, we developed a WordPress theme specifically designed for bloggers with content in mind. Now over the weekend, I've been getting a ton of questions. So I've been making a list of them on my computer over the weekend. And I thought in today's video, we'll quickly dive into some of your most frequently asked questions around the popcorn theme. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel again. So today's video, as I said in the intro, we're gonna talk all about the popcorn theme. I just wanna answer some of the recurring questions that keep popping up on all the different social media platforms. So I thought if I could put it all into one video, I can just direct any further questions straight to this video and then hopefully we've covered some of those topics. So let's get straight into some of these questions. So the first question I've got here, I've taken a note over the weekend of all the different ones coming in. And the first one is, why did you actually make a theme when there's so many other good free themes out there? Now that's a really valid question and yeah, I've been using Generate Press or uh, Base WP. I've been using those themes for quite some time now and they are good themes, but they're very all round general themes that can be used on various platforms like e-commerce and dropshipping, as well as blogging. Now this theme came about with a conversation that me, Alex and Phil was having, was having a three-way Skype chat. And we were talking about all the websites that we have, I think combined we have something like 20 or 30 different websites. And we were using so many different themes across all of them. And we started to talk about, you know, why a particular theme is good for a certain platform. And one of the things that sprung to mind with me is, I'm not very tech savvy. I'm terrible at setting up my hosting and getting the theme on there. I'm great at content and I'm great at keyword research, but all that setting up uh, is, you know, sometimes bewildering to me. I remember having Rehub theme and spending months and months trying to set the theme up when I could have spent months and months writing content. So I said to Alex and Phil, you know, wouldn't it be great just to have a WordPress theme for bloggers that just focus on content? One that I could simply upload a zip file and straight out of the box, it was pretty much ready to go within minutes. I'm not bothered anymore about the colors of fonts and certain styles and I want a shade on this box, I want a shade. I'm not bothered about that. I want something that is super fast, super easy to use and super content focused. So the conversation started and we agreed that there isn't really a theme out there that is 100% focused on getting you started quickly, simply, inexpensively, and really keeping the focus on content, getting you to start producing content pretty much within day one. And that's why we decided to make the theme. So the second question I get asked, which is popping up a lot, is what is the speed like out of the box? And what is the speed like with ads on? Now, particularly, you know, I'm a big fan of Ezoic. What is the speed like when you put Ezoic on there? Well, I'm pleased to say out of the box, the speed is pretty much very high 90s, 98, 99. Most cases, it's 100 on mobile and desktop straight out of the box. That's with content on there. Now, that's with no optimization. That is pretty much straight out of the box. Now, if you've got a ton of content, let's say you've got hundreds and hundreds of images and videos everywhere, you are going to see a decrease and obviously you will need to do some form of optimization. Maybe on your images, you might add short pixel or something like that to optimize the images. Now with Ezoic, we've sent the theme over to Tyler, who's the CMO of Ezoic. It's as high up as you can get. And we literally just gave him the theme and said, be brutally honest, send us your feedback. And he absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm not going to quote him word for word because I've not had his permission yet to release this testimonial. But he said that he has an industry standard theme that he uses and he tested this against that industry standard theme and it beat it. It beat it on straight out of the box page speed and he was blown away by it. Now you can see some screenshots here. This is a website that he uses to test all their features and functionality and you can see that he installed Popcorn theme on this test website and you can see the scores. So I think it's 90 and 91 it's um, returned. Now 91 score on mobile with 
Ezoic ads. And it's a pretty big test site he's got. And he said he has a lot on there. There's a lot going on on there. So to get 91 on mobile with Ezoic ads, without any optimization, without activating Leap and doing all the settings in Leap and everything, this is simply out of the box. 91 on mobile for me is a winner. I think the results from Ezoic and the feedback from Tyler was incredible. We are hopefully going to be able to get a stamp of approval on the website from Ezoic and they are adding it to their recommendations for themes within Ezoic. So if you're an Ezoic member and you go to Leap, you'll see in there that they will often refer or recommend some themes that is good to run with Ezoic ads and we have been added to that list. So I'm super, super proud. Phil over at spiderweb.co.uk has done some incredible work on the coding on this and Tyler was super pleased and excited to see the actual the coding and the structure of the theme. So the next question I always get is about refunds. Do we offer a refund policy? We don't at the moment and I'll tell you the reason why. At the minute, the theme is so simple, clean. There shouldn't really be anything that goes wrong for you. We've tested it and tested it and tested it. It has now been purchased by quite a few people and they've tested it across all their websites. It's probably up now on dozens and dozens of websites across the world and we haven't had any issues whatsoever. So the only reason I can see that you might want to refund is if you don't like the style or the look of it. But that's why we created the demo site. So if you head over to um, the Popcorn theme, there's a link in the menu that says demo. Alex over at WP Eagle has built a website to test the theme on so you can go see the style the look and the flavor of the theme that's the only reason at the moment i can see why you need a refund we are going to put a refund policy in place the issue we have at the moment is we're trying to work with a licensing uh, company some way of licensing the product at the minute that's in the process and that's why we haven't got the refund policy in place just yet but it is going to come we have no worries if you don't like it get your money back we just need to put the actual process in place for that and the next question in, on a similar topic of that is support. Many people have been saying, I don't want to invest in a theme that's not going to have the support. What if in a year's time or two years time, you decide that you're bored with it and you're not going to carry on with it? Will the theme still have the support? And you know, I, we spoke at length about this. Phil has been doing developing and hosting for 26 years. Alex has been doing this business now for, I think, well over 12, 10 or 12 years. So we are not going away. Phil, is his company is a limited company. We have an obligation. We are obviously backed by the terms and conditions of being a limited company. So we have our commitment is there to you guys on this theme. And all the support is there at the moment. We have various support platforms at the minute. Discord group, Facebook group and email. Uh, anything more than that, we might wrap it all up and put it into one support platform. At the minute, we're not selling enough copies to need a dedicated support system. At the minute, we can handle it on a one-to-one. -one. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, you email us. The email address is on the website or you jump into Discord or Facebook. Uh, even comment on YouTube if you've got a problem. We do check all the comments and we will address any issues that you have. But touch wood, it's on dozens of sites and we're not seeing any problems whatsoever. So next question is uh, on future updates. Will there be any future updates? Well, absolutely. If you've seen the versions that's out there now, I don't, I don't, I, I'm losing track of what version we're on. I think we're on version 7 or 8 already in the last couple of weeks. Phil is updating and making changes. We're not tweaking any bugs. There's no bugs in the theme whatsoever. All the updates we're doing are improvements. So if you say, I don't really like that font and I want to change the color there, we're putting these improvements in place. Now, we're not going to overload it with functionality because that will spoil the idea of the theme. The idea of the theme is clean, simple. We don't want to give you too many options, otherwise you'll spend ages tweaking them and not getting your content out there. So all the updates that are coming will be, number one, they will be free. Number two, they will be regular and you will be informed about them. And number three, we will obviously look out for any uh, updates with Google or anything like that that we may need to address. But yeah, the support is there. The updates are frequent, regular, and they are free. There's no extra charge for any updates we make. Another question we get asked is, can you use Elementor? You can. The theme does support page builders, but the idea of putting a page builder on there kind of defeats the object of keeping it simple and content focused. So you can use Elementor, you can use page builders if that's what you wish, 
there will probably be a slight price to pay uh, in speed. Uh, it does with any theme you use. If you start adding page builders and extra functionality to it, there will be a price to pay in speed. So my suggestion is keep it super clean. I'm just using Gutenberg. There's enough functionality in Gutenberg to do everything that I want. So yeah, you can use Elementor if you wish, but there will be a price to pay in speed. Another question I had from Facebook was um, table of contents. Can you add a table of content? You can, at the minute it would be a plugin that you would need to use to get table of content. We are looking at actually coding that and building it into the theme. So fingers crossed that's a, a functionality that we will include in the theme in future updates. So fingers crossed on that one. And another question is um, new styles and themes. Are we bringing any more styles, any more themes? Well, we are. One of the reasons we called it popcorn is because we know all the different flavors of popcorns that people like. So you might be a salted popcorn guy. You might be a sweet popcorn guy. And maybe that's a great way of releasing new styles to themes. So you may like dark mode. So that might be uh, popcorn toffee flavor. So what we'll do, we'll release a style that you can change. So if you want a dark theme on your website, you will have different um, settings within the actual theme itself where you can choose whether you want to do you know, a sweet theme, it might be all pink and girly, <laughs> or it might be popcorn, it might be dark and, you know, modern looking. So yeah, all those different styles are coming out. We're just developing those at the moment. And again, they are free. There's no extra cost involved in those. And a very, very common question here is, how many websites can I use the theme on? It's unlimited. That's one of the things we really wanted to do. I hate paying monthly or yearly for a theme. It's $99 forever. You can use it on unlimited websites. We are putting a license in place so that it just can't be shared out to the whole world. So we, you know, if you've paid for your theme, then keep your theme and your license to yourself. Don't be sharing it with others. But yeah, it is unlimited. You can use it on as many sites as you want. I actually know a lady who is in my Facebook group and she said she's just installed it on seven of her websites this morning and it went super smoothly and she's really happy. So yeah, she's certainly got her money's worth for $99. So another question, do you need any plugins to use this theme? You don't, it's fully functioning out of the box. I personally, to my website, I've added the theme to one of my sites. I've added AAWP plugin. I've added short pixel for a little bit of image optimization. Uh, you could use Rank Math or Yoast if you want. Personally, I don't, I don't use any SEO plugin. Um, but yeah, you can add plugins to it, but you don't need to. And again, the more plugins you add, the same with any theme, there will be a price to pay in speed. And a really simple question to answer here, how much does a theme cost? I've already addressed that. It's $99 for life, unlimited use. And a question we had from Discord, can I customize things? You can, it does come with a child theme, so you can adjust and do some customizing yourself without overriding your main website and your main settings. So you can play around with it, you get the main zip file, the main theme, and you get a child theme in there. So yes, you can customize it if you so wish. And a question from, this is commented on a YouTube video I did, can I use it for my e-commerce site? I'd say no, it's not designed for that at all. It's a theme for bloggers built by bloggers. It's basically just informational content, buyer's guide, it's perfect for that. I don't think it's gonna be good for e-commerce. So at the moment, I'd say no. Whether we bring a version out for e-commerce, mm, something to think about, but at the minute, I'd say no. And two more questions left. Is it mobile friendly? 100% it is. I even edit my posts in mobile inspection mode. I do everything on my websites now to focus on mobile because 70 to 80% of my traffic comes from mobile users. So why would you focus on anything else other than mobile? So I, I, I'm encouraging my writers at the minute to upload the content and edit within the mobile preview because you get such a good feeling for how big the paragraphs are, whether the images fit in right. So yeah, I'd highly suggest that. It might actually be a video I do soon, editing in mobile preview. Might be a piece of content I can bring to you. And finally, this looks like an affiliate marketer or, or website owners have put, do we have an affiliate program? We do, yeah. If you go to Popcorn Theme, there is a link at the bottom that says um, affiliate or join our affiliate program. We do have a commission based affiliate program. So if you're a YouTuber, blogger, an affiliate marketer, and you want to promote our popcorn theme, you will earn a commission if you do so. So yeah, click the link, check all the details out on there. So pretty much I think that's it. I've answered most of the questions. If there's any other questions you have, like I say, you can hit me up in Discord, Facebook, 
or just head over to the popcorn theme and have a look at some of the FAQs on there. We may answer your questions there. And if you don't find the answers you require there, there is an email address on the popcorn theme. You can head over and just simply old fashioned send us an email. So I hope that answers all your questions. I personally am loving the theme. I know there has been some people that's really, you know, why are you building a theme? Why do you need a theme? Why not? I think there's a market out there for a theme that is 100% focused on blog content. No frills, super quick, super easy to install, and a one fee for life. And that's why I think it's been a valuable project to get involved with. So let me know in the comments. Are you using it? Have you seen it? Are you going to try it? Do you not like it? Do you not want to use it? And if so, why? Give us some feedback. The more feedback we get, the more we can improve on the product and hopefully reassure more people. So thanks for joining me. Head over popcorntheme.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think.